Indian Vice President Venka Naidu has launched the Elements app, which claims to be the country's first indigenously developed social media super app. The app has been developed by over a thousand IT professionals who also volunteer at Sri Sri Ravi Shankar's Art of Living Foundation. It's available in eight Indian languages and aims to compete with the likes of Facebook and Instagram. The app combines the features of most social media apps to connect and chat with friends and use in-app filters to post creative images. But the team also plans to launch audio video conference calls, secure payments, regional voice commands and other new features to make Elements a one-stop app. The app developers also say that it offers end-to-end -end encryption for privacy and that all its servers are located within India. India's latest e-commerce policy draft could offer a peek into the working of many internet giants and how they handle data. According to Bloomberg, the 15-page draft would mandate government access to online company source codes and algorithms. This would help prevent digitally induced biases and help determine if companies have explainable AI. The proposed rules also mandate the appointment of an e-commerce regulator and ask companies to turn over stored data within 72 hours of a request. Online portals would also have to identify a product's country of origin and also provide sellers' contact information. Bloomberg also said the draft policy will be open to comment online before it's formalized. A more dangerous and powerful malware has resurfaced after three years that targets Android devices using SMS phishing messages to steal confidential information. Fake spy uses messages that are designed to look like those from legitimate postal and delivery services all over the world. Clicking on such links downloads malicious code onto the Android device that installs the fake spy malware. Once users open the infected app and grant permissions, it steals valuable information such as phone number, financial data, bank login information, app data, contact lists and more. Researchers suspect a Chinese group called Roaming Mantis to be behind the attack. Chipset maker Qualcomm and Indian e-commerce giant Flipkart have teamed up to launch a range of wireless audio devices for the Indian market under HRX brand. The company has launched two wireless neckbands, the HRX X-Wave 7R and HRX X-Wave 14R, which cost Rs 1,499 rupees and Rs 1,799 rupees respectively. Additionally, the HRX X-Drops 9G truly wireless earbuds have also been unveiled with a price tag of Rs 2,999 rupees. The new earbuds are powered by Qualcomm's QCC30XX Bluetooth Audio SoCs that offer OEM customization, extended battery life and better connectivity. Meanwhile, Qualcomm's CVC noise cancellation technology not only provides voice clarity but also echo suppression on call. Music accessory maker Truk has launched its highly affordable truly wireless earbuds in India. The Truk Fit Pro earbuds are now available for purchase via Amazon in three colors, black, green and blue for Rs 999 rupees. They come with an open fit ergonomic design for comfort and promise high fidelity sound with its 13mm dynamic driver. They feature Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity, voice assistant support and a 500mAh USB Type-C charging case that promises up to 24 hours of battery life. Xiaomi has started rolling out the latest MIUI 12 stable update to its flagship smartphone, the Redmi K20 Pro. The update also brings the latest Android security patch. Users should get a notification when the update arrives on their devices. But you can also check for update by heading over to System Update in the Settings menu. To recall, the MIUI 12 was officially launched in April 2020 as a custom skin on top of either Android 9.0 or Android 10. It brings plenty of new animations and visualizations, an improved system-wide dark mode, dynamic always-on display, and more sophisticated privacy controls that will allow the permissions to be used only while using the app. Samsung's second foldable smartphone, the Galaxy Fold 2, is expected to launch alongside the Galaxy Note 20 series in August. But due to COVID-19 related delays, the smartphone will reportedly hit the stores in September with very limited supplies and will cost around 2,000 euros. Meanwhile, the new foldable smartphone was spotted on China's 3C certification website with 5G connectivity and 25W fast charging. Previous leaks have suggested a 7.59-inch inner AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and a 6.23-inch secondary display with a standard 60Hz refresh rate. The phone will be powered by a Snapdragon 865 SoC 12GB of RAM and is expected to have a dual battery setup with a total capacity of 4,365mAh. OnePlus's upcoming affordable smartphone, the OnePlus Nord, is scheduled to launch later this month but it won't be coming to the US. 
The company co-founder Carl Pei told Tech News website Android Authority that since the company is doing well in India already and growing rapidly in Europe, it makes sense to focus on those markets for now. OnePlus Nord is not just a phone but an entire new lineup and Pei assures the future iterations will be coming to the US as well. The budget smartphone has been confirmed to feature a Snapdragon 765G SoC with 5G support and is teased to have a triple rear camera setup as well as a dual selfie camera. Motorola's Moto G 5G Plus has reportedly been spotted on the US Federal Communications Commission and TUV Rhineland certification sites, revealing key features. The upcoming smartphone will pack dual-band Wi-Fi, NFC and 5G connectivity as well as support for GPS navigation. It will also have a 5000 mAh battery with support for 25 watt fast charging. Separately, the Moto G 5G is tipped to feature a 90Hz FHD Plus display with a 21 to 9 aspect ratio, a Snapdragon 765G chipset paired with 4GB of RAM and a 48 megapixel primary camera.